The Holy Ghost I'm talking about is not the same Holy Spirit you're talking about. You are talking about the anointing and not Him. The Holy Ghost is God in the earth today. And you walk with Him by saying words. My name is Andrew Hemstrong. Thanks for joining us. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe. If this isn't your first time here and these messages are blessing you, then consider becoming a partner with us. Jesus said that you were supposed to worship the Lord your God and Him only serve. Are you all right with that? A lot of my followers are Christians. But I speak from this place, this place of worshiping the Holy Ghost as God and walking with Him in the earth by speaking in agreement with His words. 99.9% .9 of Christians don't do that. But I speak from this place. I am a Holy Ghost worshiper, which makes me different than most Christians whether you like it or not I know it to be a fact and that exposes me and affords me something that they're not exposed to and afforded Jesus said thou shalt worship the Lord say the Lord. the Lord well now the Lord is that spirit I worship the Lord my God and him only do I serve I worship the Holy Ghost as the Lord my God the Spirit Lord my God in the earth today and speak in agreement with his word now those are strong words for a lot of people but they don't like me anyway and listen as I say these things this evening there's a divide between those who do worship him as God and those who don't and the divide listen the divide will only get wider for those who have and those who have not there is a thickening going on on the opposite side of this message mm -hmm. the message itself requires you to do something either to hear it and embrace it or to go the opposite direction and if you walk the opposite direction you will get hard-hearted towards it are you here a thickening so to speak mm -hmm. of opposition and some of the things I'm saying tonight are to that end to help you along one way or another be thou hot or cold but get out of the middle mm -hmm. pick a side you who worship God know who he is and worship him pick a side reminds me of times in the Old Testament when they would say who here worships God mm -hmm. right and you had those who would and those who wouldn't and the line was drawn the fact is if you don't worship him as God you don't know him you think you do but you don't I used to think I did pre worshiping him I'm gonna be talking about that tonight what I actually knew but when I began worshiping him I met him as God the Holy Ghost are you here fact is if you knew him as God you would worship him so the fact that you're not worshiping him tells me that you don't know him as God it must be something else it must be something else mm -hmm. I'm laying some basic facts here that draw a line in the sand mm -hmm. you know what that means that term means and then you get either cross it or you don't mm -hmm. that's the line mm -hmm. and if you don't worship him the Holy Ghost as God in the earth today then I have little or nothing to do with you my words won't mean that much to you mm -hmm. but if you do 
then I will take you with me into all the things that the Holy Ghost has for us in this day in this hour we're going there get ready I am given the new manifestation of the Spirit for good and profit and I am taking you with me to the next level I'm so happy that so many of you heard that that you can't go here and stay there you can't go here and stay there you can't go here and stay there are you getting this mm -hmm. it's the line in the sand you have to make up your mind are you gonna go here or not mm -hmm. when you open your mouth and you say I worship you Holy Ghost I worship you Holy Ghost I worship you Holy Ghost you are declaring that you're cross the line and that you're going with him into everything that he has and stay there until it totally rewires you and totally changes you because it will I've been at this a while I have been at this a while I am no novice it's over 30 years that I've been in the ministry knowing myself and being in the ministry and being submitted to some very well-known ministers I'm pretty sure and more so today than I was yesterday that the Holy Spirit that they talk about the Holy Spirit this the Holy Spirit that the Holy Spirit this is not the same Holy Ghost that I'm talking about those who know the Holy Ghost by worshiping him know what I'm talking about and I'm pretty sure more today than yesterday that the Holy Ghost I'm talking about is not the same Holy Spirit you're talking about you are talking about the anointing and not him the Holy Spirit you're talking about is not the same Holy Ghost that I'm talking about because if he was you would be worshiping him but you're not you're talking about the anointing which is basically a gift of the spirit it's something he does say it's something he does, it's something he does. but it is not him i've spent many years under several great men of god all of which had massive anointings and many followers massive anointings many followers mm -hmm. and I submitted myself to them mm -hmm. are you here yeah. but not one of them ever uttered the words I worship you Holy Ghost out their mouth mm -hmm. not once not ever they would write books on the subject of how to be led by the Spirit of God which to me now should have been titled how to be led by the anointing how to recognize the anointing how to increase the anointing of God because that's what they're talking about and that's what they're good at mm -hmm. people get good at it recognizing and following the anointing of God and they look really spiritual they grow up in it right mm -hmm they become our leaders and we listen to them and all the things they say and then you have these manifestations all of which are what the anointing yeah. mm -hmm. it's the anointing it's the anointing it's the anointing but they never worshiped him and therefore they never knew him they increased in the knowledge of the anointing but not knowing him are you here mm -hmm. this is different from the anointing mm -hmm. he differs from his anointing that he gives mm -hmm. I know the anointing and I know him they're two different things are you here one you worship because he's god the other one you don't worship because it's just an anointing it's just a thing mm -hmm. 
unfortunately those who think they know the most the leaders the book writers the people who look like they really know know the least and have the most to lose in this room of Holy Ghost worship the sunk costs are too great for them to transition over so there will come a time when they will begin to decline and those who are in the spirit worshiping the Holy Ghost as God shall rise up to be at the head and the foremost don't let the sunk costs hold you back don't let that be you worship him know him as God let him change you you ready for this you don't mind if I just say stuff right in this room hey I know I've been in here and I've been out there you understand it's two different things two different things I've been in the anointing and thank God for the anointing but in this room that I'm talking about being in this room of Holy Ghost worship and it's a vast room in this room the anointing is not a big deal it's a small deal and it's not that I'm dissing the anointing if you're in this room the anointing becomes really quite insignificant mm -hmm. because I'm with him I'm with the God who has anointings in this room you realize that he is not the anointing the anointing is not him and the anointing becomes relatively say relatively relatively insignificant he's the big deal the anointing is just a thing he does and i don't care how big it gets i don't care if the whole crowd is falling out it's still not him and he's a bigger deal than all of that mm -hmm. in this room we're changed from glory to glory by knowing him not by knowing the anointing mm -hmm. we're changed from glory to glory by knowing him not by knowing the anointing the anointing can only get you so far it won't get you into knowing him only worshiping him will as big as the anointing becomes it never turns into him and that's what you've been calling it you see this but we would say that that guy with the big anointing he really knows the Holy Spirit he could write books on the Holy Spirit and they do what are they writing about the anointing because they don't worship him they're not in this room listen to me they're not in this room you only get in this room by worshiping the Holy Ghost using the words I worship you Holy Ghost it's different it's bigger it's better it literally begins where the biggest anointing you could imagine leaves off am I getting this across we would say that that guy really oh he really knows his stuff the reality is it's a very very small thing never worship the Holy Ghost as God that's what's massive what worshiping him as God that's the massive listen that's the massive change that takes place your worship of him you in your room your worship of him is greater than any anointing get that straight your worship of him is greater than any anointing any say any, any. say any, any. <laughs> well how could this be matthew chapter 7 verse 22 many will say to me in that day Lord Lord have we not prophesied in thy name how do you prophesy with an anointing mm -hmm. with a gift of the Spirit mm 
and in thy name have cast out devils and in thy name done many wonderful works all which you needed an anointing to do and then will i profess unto them i never knew you depart from me you that work iniquity and i'm not saying that using an anointing is an iniquity don't try to put words in my mouth i'm trying to prove a point that they didn't know him even though they used an anointing and if we're talking about the anointing of the holy ghost you can have the greatest anointing of the holy ghost in the world and still not know him because if you knew him you would worship him and if you worshiped him you would know him and you'd realize that this is a completely different thing it's a completely different level you're in a completely different room are you in this room i know i am i know where i came from i know what it, what's going on in here and i know what's going on out there and i can tell like i said the holy spirit you're talking about is not this the holy spirit you're talking about is an anointing and it's small compared to this is this fun yet yep. you think people will like this message mm -hmm. told you i'm drawing a line somebody has to do it mm -hmm. I'm drawing a line can you sense the thickening mm -hmm. of resistance mm -hmm. so jesus was contrasting the anointing and never knew you mm -hmm. the anointing only takes you so far how do i know some of the greatest men of god with the strongest anointings you could possibly imagine never came here their anointing did not bring them into this room mm -hmm. remember we read thou shalt worship the lord thy god and him only shalt thou serve second mm -hmm. corinthians chapter 3 17 says now the lord is that spirit thou shalt worship the lord thy god now the lord is that spirit and where the spirit of the lord is there is liberty there is freedom and i present to you liberty and freedom that you can't experience acquire or maintain mm -hmm. without knowing him as the spirit lord the lord who is that spirit mm -hmm. and verse 18 we all with open face beholding as in a glass the glory of the spirit lord where you never went with your anointing beholding as in a glass the glory of the lord are changed into the same image from glory to glory even as by the spirit of the lord or the spirit lord how are we changed by beholding the glory of the spirit lord we're changed from glory to glory mm -hmm. not by an anointing the change only happens in this room listen the change only happens in this room worshiping the holy ghost as god you are changed because you begin to see him for who he is he's the spirit lord god in the earth today and you worship him and him only serve that's different we who worship him the holy ghost as god enter behind a veil where others can't go i'm telling you listen to me we go to a glory that they can't know they say oh that doesn't exist and these are experts in the anointing how would you know you've never worshiped him as god or done it enough to have him change you in this room you are an expert on not worshiping the holy ghost as god and we've done that for a long time have you ever heard this phrase uh, a rising tide lifts all ships this rising tide lifts all ships at least those who don't sabotage their own boats that's where a lot of people's boats are at the rising tide is not lifting that boat if you think i'm a heretic you're wrong i'm called 
and sent by God and he's pleased by it even if you aren't let this rising tide lift your ship it's the new manifestation of the Spirit that takes you there Haggai chapter 2 and verse 6 for thus says the Lord of hosts who's that the Holy Ghost he's the Lord of spirits yet once it is a little while and I will shake the heaven and the earth and the sea and the dry land that's pretty much everything and I will shake all nations how many nations is that and I will shake all nations I said I will shake all nations and the desire of all nations shall come and I will fill this house with glory says the Lord of hosts the silver is mine the gold is mine says the Lord of hosts and the glory of this latter house shall be greater than of the former saith the Lord of hosts and in this place say in this place in this place, in this place will I give peace says the Lord of hosts so it's in a place where this happens mm -hmm. if you're not in this place it doesn't happen for you listen it's in this place of worshiping the Holy Ghost where you begin to know and recognize him as God and see his glory and then you're changed from one thing to the next all things are his then all things become yours by proxy he says what's mine is yours what did he say was his all of it mm -hmm. nations silver gold it's all his it all becomes yours in this place it all becomes yours in this place it all becomes yours in this place the anointing won't take you there hasn't won't I love the anointing but it is not him he is different than the anointing I said he's different than the anointing the anointing won't take you there only the glory found in this room in his room it's his glory only the glory found in this room in this place will he give wealth and riches shall be in this house mm -hmm. say it wealth and riches, wealth and riches shall, be shall be in this house, in this house. holy ghost we thank you and we worship you as god in the earth today and this message has changed many hearts and many others have fallen away and that's okay we give you all the glory for it because this is the day says the Spirit Lord when those who know me shall be changed from one glory to the next and it shall be seen on you and many people will wonder what happened to you because you're different now say I'm different now, I'm different now. if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me Holy Ghost you are the Spirit Lord you are my Spirit Lord and I worship you with my tithes and my offerings I ask to be changed from one glory to the next and for it to be seen in Jesus name Amen the Father is in heaven Jesus at his right hand your God.